it is another toasty one. So I'm going to make another salad. And when I've been really wanting the last few days to a week-ish is that, uh, that ramen salad. You know, it's like the raw ramen mixed with like a bunch of veggies and it's crunchy and sweet and sour and delicious. That's what I want. And this one, you don't have to cook anything. So it's truly a hot weather dish. It's super easy too. You can really add whatever you want into these salads. I think this would be great with chicken or maybe like some beef, but no meat today. So I'm gonna get started and it's gonna be a good time. I love this salad because it's very Sandra Lee semi-homemade-esque. And so I pretty much just picked up everything packaged from the store, which is totally fine. What I was really wanting to get though was some fresh cabbage, but I could not find any at the store. I improvised and got some coleslaw mix. Also couldn't find any carrots. Maybe I went at the wrong time, but I don't even know. So I got some shredded carrots, just some sliced almonds. Gotta have some ramen. I'm not going to use the flavor packets on these, just the noodles, so it really doesn't matter what kind you get. So I'm just gonna use some of these. I found these big, beautiful green onions at the store. Look at how big it is. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. So I'm gonna use maybe one of these because they're so large, but a couple small ones if you have small. And of course some salt and pepper and some sesame seeds. And then for the dressing, I'll go over that later. But for now, I'm gonna prep everything for the salad. I got my big bowl, let's go. And there's my salad, a huge bowl of just crunch and vegetable and just deliciousness. Now for the dressing, I've seen a lot of different variations of this dressing, but I think it all kind of always includes like an oil, some sugar, something tart, like a vinegar, maybe some soy sauce. I'm not going off of an exact recipe, but for the recipe followers, I'll try to find a recipe that seems to be quite popular. I'll just pop it down in the description if you wanted to take a look. But now I'm gonna see what I can concoct for a dressing for this. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna use some vegetable oil. I have some rice vinegar, a little bit of sesame oil, some soy sauce, a little salt little pepper and I feel like it's kind of strange but I don't know I'm kind of feeling it today so I wanted to make it a little sweet and maybe a little bit creamier like a tad so I'm gonna put some Kewpie mayo in there just some Japanese mayo sweeter than normal mayonnaise and it's basically like a slot anyway so I'm just gonna put in a little bit just to make it a little creamy see what happens and maybe just like a pinch of sugar. Oh my God, that's good. Woo. Uh, let's see, a little sweeter, a little more sugar. Pour that all in. Give this a toss. Everything is actually getting pretty well coated with that dressing, but I still like it a little wetter. I'm like such a soggy salad, soak it kind of girl. So uh, I think I'm gonna make another half batch of that. All of the moisture is gonna start to draw out of the vegetables. 
Oh, this looks good. Now I'm going to taste this for seasoning and then cover it up, put it in the fridge, let it sit for a bit because, I mean, you can eat these now, but these big chunks of ramen are still raw. So I'm gonna let this sit for a bit in the fridge, kind of let the flavors marry, just kind of let everything settle down, let the juices kind of start to flow, and then I can devour because this right here is the ultimate. That took maybe 10 minutes to throw together, no cooking, my salad has been chilling in the fridge for a little bit. Probably not as long as I want it to, but like, I need to have some. Grab a spoon. Look at that. Colorful and crunchy and... It smells so good. Mm. Bottoms up. Mmm. That is so good. It's still kind of crunchy, which is totally fine. It has so many textures between the ramen and the veggies. Mm. And that dressing is so good. I really think the Kewpie did something to it. So that was a fun experiment and I'll use it from now on. This can just sit in my fridge for a few days. It's perfect to make for this kind of weather. It's so warm. This is great right out of the fridge. It's not your typical salad that you can bring to like a cookout. Give some people some variety, you know? It tastes good. So you should definitely make this, if not for anyone else, yourself. Enjoy.